Today, many lures and rigs are often designed for a given species and for given situations. The fact is, many lures and rigs have great crossover applications to multiple species. Walleyes can't tell the difference between a walleye bait or a bass bait if it's about the right size, moving in the correct depth, at the right speed, <laughs> it's fair game. A great example would be the lowly Ned Rig, which is a simple small stick worm that totally catches fish. Smallmouth, largemouth, walleye, and panfish all love this thing. It's a bite-sized snack that moves slow and fish just can't resist it. Another lure that has become popular amongst anglers across the country is the swim bait. From its humble beginnings, swim baits now come in sizes from 1 inch for panfish to 12 inch models that appeal to the largest predators and everything in between. The newest rig in bass angling is the Tokyo Rig. Initially designed for fishing heavy weed cover, anglers have since applied Tokyo rigging tactics to different species and angling situations. Let's hook up with James Lindner and Jeremy Smith with a little primer on Tokyo Rig and Walleye. Try getting outside the box, experimenting with new techniques. And I'm telling you what, this Tokyo rig is one dynamite bass bait, but it's also pretty killer for walleye. Closed captioning is provided by Smooth Moves, adjustable boat seat suspensions for a smoother ride. Here's one. I got that one. There we go. Not a bad one. Not a bad one. I'll take that. You catch them on plastic or live bait? I got that one on live bait. I got to show you guys this rig we're catching fish on today. And it's a pretty unique and pretty impressive system. I'll show you Mr. Walleye. And then I'll show you, whoa, come here, buddy, the rig. Great little fish. All right, back you go. Now this is the Tokyo rig. This bait came over. We've done a few pieces on it, designed for Ooh, catching bass and heavy Ooh, cover. That was the original idea, but guess what? That's a good one. Fish yes. don't know, walleyes in particular, don't know this was made for bass. Sunfish don't know this was made for bass. Basically, it's one of those multi-species rigs you can catch just about anything with. Now, the Tokyo rig has got, this particular one is the Finesse Nico. You can see it's got a, this great Nico hook here. This is an awesome light wire hook for hooking and holding fish. It's got this little wire shank right here. You put a little bit of weight on here. This is the tungsten slider weight here, 5 16 So now I can put plastic on the back of this. I could use a plastic worm, a paddle tail, a minnow. And in this case, we are getting Getting, uh, going through a lot of fish, not hooking up, so I thought, well, I'll try a leech. So talk about versatile live bait, plastics, you name it, and the fish seem to be liking it. Let's see if we can get another one. The nice thing about the Tokyo rig, just because of the way you can actually just balance, you can change the weights on your rig, you can really adjust the, for the speed of the bait you're fishing with. Like I've actually have a number of different weights on here, a quarter, a really lightweight one and then I have actually a three-quarter ounce weight and the thinking is because we didn't know exactly where we were going to be fishing we're going to be fishing some shallower weeds we're going to be fishing some mid-depth 15 to 20 and then we might go out on the mud here and try some really deep water stuff too as well so you can adjust the rig for the depth of water you're fishing you know by simply just you know popping that off that little wire just pop it off, change weights on it pretty quickly. This dragon, another just nice walleye, nothing huge. Lots of fish though, man. This is a this is a beatdown, Jimmy. Good eaters. Yeah. Amazing. Nothing better. It flat out allows me to catch more fish. Power steering and spot lock have revolutionized what we're doing on the lake now. Faster response times when, when steering. A spot lock, man, it's second to none. Game changer. A game changer. Game changer.
for 70 years, you've known us for our high performance rods. Now, it's time to meet our machinery. 32 pairs of hands. Touch, craft, and test each St. Croix rod. Overkill, not with our reputation on the line. St. Croix, the best rods on earth. From the kennel to the coop, whatever the season, Fleet Farm has everything to keep your animals happy and healthy. Whether you're getting them through the winter season, mastering those retrieval skills season, or wondering who takes care of who season, there's a reason people say, if Fleet Farm doesn't have it, you don't need it, because we have it all. Fleet Farm, built for real life. You don't know their names yet, but you will. This segment is brought to you by Blackfish Outdoor Apparel, because you can't choose the weather. It pays big time to spend time looking for fish with your big motor versus just finding a spot on the lake and saying, all right, I'm gonna throw the trolling motor in and start fishing. Now, our boats end up having a ton of hours on them. This, this Merc is awesome because I can obviously troll with it, I can back troll with it, but I, I put hours on because the big part of the fish finding process is using your electronics, using your big motor to see what's really down there before you fish. It's a huge part of the fish finding process. So anytime you hit the water, rather than just heading out and starting to fish a spot you think looks good, take the time to look at it with your sonar, use your big motor to go through, scan it, and then if there's fish there, there's good cover there, come back and fish it. Oop, there's one. There you go. A little bit better one. I'll grab the old net for you. Ah, no, nah. he's not. Not that big, I guess. Come here, buddy. I thank you, sir. There that you isn't go. too bad. Yeah. That fish came on a, uh, a little cane thumper. Boy, did she just rail yeah, it, too. It cool. I mean, that's the cool thing is, you know, about angling is learning so much. And to me, what's really fun is experimenting with new techniques and figuring out and seeing how different techniques apply to different fishing situations. And this one here, the Tokyo rig has really been a winner for us for the last couple of years. We got on, you know, this application for like deep water smallmouth bass fishing, and now more with this finesse version that you could be applied to walleye fishing. You know, the interesting thing is what it was initially designed for is something when you initially look at it, it's just like a little bottom bouncer, but it's just amazingly snag resilient. You know, we're fishing a lot around like a lot of rock piles and uh, zebra mussels. And it's interesting on how this thing goes through anything. It goes through weeds, rocks. I mean, that little bottom bouncer, that little thing just tapping on the bottom. And the, it's really cool. It actually imparts, when this is ricocheting off the bottom, and it's actually imparting more action into your live bait or soft plastic, whatever you have attached to it. So, but it's sort of a cool system. I know, I know one thing I've really, when you initially look at it, it's a little bit sort of, that would never work. But when you start fishing with it, it's like, wow. You know, just even for throwing or casting in a uh, for largemouth bass, what it was initially designed for, for flipping real heavy cover, you look at it, that would never go through it. And it's just like amazing. It's like a needle. It just goes in and out because it's, uh, the sinker goes in first and the bait is following in the, with the hook in back of it. Oop, there's one. Oh, there we go. There we go. figured out, Jim. That's a little bit better one, Jer. Hey, so I think fun. I got the rhythm. You do definitely have the rhythm. Interesting thing is you can do a lot of things with this little, yeah. ri little rig, you know what I mean? It's really a little bit better it. one. Come here, buddy. Come here, come on. Tough little customer. 
Where's your walleye? Beauty. Come here, buddy. You know, one thing it's always sort of trying to figure out what the cadence of the retrieve is, is the general rule when I'm uh, fishing like a swim bait on a Tokyo rig, Actually, Jar and I sh uh, shot a really interesting piece last year, and I caught a lot of uh, deep water largemouth bass on rock, extended rock piles. And what I do is cast it out and reel it really, really slowly, almost like a, uh, a roller jig, and it would be just bouncing you know, on the bottom really, really slowly. But what I've been doing this last number of while is I started changing up my cadence, casting it out, reeling it for a little bit, then lifting it, sort of sweeping it up off the bottom, and just giving it a little double pump and then it falls back to the bottom and doing that same thing in the last, I just had three bites in about 10 casts. So maybe that, that's helping. But just experimenting with your retrieve a little bit. The retrieve is key. The there he is. <laughs> you, got, you got the system figured out. There's that, one. Man. That guy hit it on the flipped it up there and it dropped and he just jumped on it. Hey, you just got to visit Sunset Country. Tired of doing this? Oh, yeah! Get a can of this and spend more time doing this. I want yeah! Whoa! Marine Pro Fuel Treatment helps marine engines start easier, run smoother, and last longer. Safe home! Marine Pro, new from the makers of Seafoam. Marine Pro is a complete marine fuel system treatment. Just pour it in. Fast starts and smooth running power have never been this easy. Ask for Marine Pro wherever marine products are sold. You can't choose the weather, but you can choose outerwear that works. Technical apparel. Rain gear. Soft shells, sunwear, when you need to stay comfortable all day, choose Blackfish because you can't choose the weather. The Edge is presented by these and other fine sponsors. A little bit better one. Beautiful fish, just starting to fatten back up a little bit. Get her back nice little water drink. room right in front of us. They show up great. That's really cool, nice school of fish. 20 feet in front of, uh, about 20 feet ahead of us. Hey, oh, I lost mine. The nice thing about, one thing I can say about this rig is your ability, because what I can do is make like, we're on like a really big sand flat here. What I can do is really fire this bait out there a long distance. Just let it sink down to the bottom. It's gonna take a while. Right now we're in about 12, 13 feet. And then you just start slowly moving the bait along so you can, it enables you to cover quite a bit of water pretty quickly. Yeah, especially when you're when you're fishing this thing with artificials. I mean, there's no drag to this thing. It's weight forward. I mean, you can throw this thing a country mile and it falls so fast. So you're getting down to where the fish are. And again, if there's cover or that you know maybe sand grass or there's rocks or whatever, you're keeping the bait up off the bottom. And now this lake has a lot of zebra mussels too. And if you're fishing a jig in here, if you've ever fished lakes that have zebra mussels on the bottom, you know that you're constantly retying because your line is getting scuffed. With this, we haven't had, I haven't even no. seen a nick on my line. It's amazing. 
All right, you ready to continue the drift? See, got him. He's holding on to it a little bit better. That one's holding on to it. Not a giant. You can see them, they're just meandering. It's cool watching with the 360, you can see them. They're here, they're over there, they're just... Oh, you can see them moving around? Flat. A little peanut ski. Lots of them here though. That's one thing cool when you're talking about the 360, because he's on a spot lock when he pulls up and he sees some fish and he can actually stop the boat before we even get to him. He's sitting there and actually pitching, making short pitches to him. I'm using a little bit of a heavier system and I'm just sort of bombing all the way around us. But it is sort of interesting on, on the bottom composition because he can hold the boat and see actually how the fish are moving around us. You know what I mean? And he's sitting in a fixed position while they're moving over there, you know. So you can see this is a finesse Tokyo rig. If we've got the Nico hook, that's a light wire hook. The, the original Tokyo rigs that came out were bigger hooks. You'd be fishing with bait casting equipment. Now I'm fishing with this with about the sickest rod and reel you can get in your hands. This is St. Croix's Legend X. It's a seven foot medium fast. Now if I was to say to anybody you want just a good all around rod to do tons of different things, that's the power and action to do it with. And I've got it on here, I've got, this is a new Daiwa Kage. Talk about a sweet, sweet reel. This has the Zion frame, it's part of the LT family. So it's a Zion, which is a carbon material, super rigid, super strong. It has these digi gears in here, so it's an extremely fine-tuned, smooth reel. Now this is not a cheap setup, but if you want to have basically the best thing you can get your hands on, this is the deal. And of course the drag, just like butter, and it's got this cork handle. When I first picked that up, I thought, oh, that's kind of weird. You fish with that handle for a little bit, and you'll be like, I'm in love. This is a deadly, deadly, deadly combo for doing this finesse fishing. The other part of this system is the line. Now, if you're getting us, you know, really getting set up with any combo, braid is one of those things to me on a lot of spinning applications. It just works so good, it lasts forever. Now, like I mentioned, I have a super high-end rod and reel in my hands, and that's a place where you don't want to skip, skimp on line. What I've got on here, this is Suffix 131. It's a new braided line, and this thing is insanely slick. It's really smooth. It's really quiet. It's got tremendous shock strength and pulling strength. It's one of those lines, it's, it's, it's expensive, but once you've felt it in your hands, you go, wow, I get it. I can throw really far. It's really smooth. You know, if you ever have wind knots or something like that in the wind, the knots pull out real easy. It's one of those lines that it's worth every penny, and it's not gonna be one of those things you have to spool up three times a year. You do it once and you're good for a season. You know, I can see a wide variety of different situations where this thing is going to really come into play. I know I had the Jared's good chance one. for it. Jared's got another one there. I just, it's so amazing. It's like, there was the fish I just caught. Like, I can see Biggie. him. It's just a nice one, Jim. It's not huge, but just nice. But it's just so fun. I'm, I'm actually waiting to cast until I see fish. I'm not just casting it, casting randomly. Talk about amazing technology. It's really cool. Nice little... Ooh, Walter that wants to go back. The other interesting thing about this system that we're doing right now, it's like when we're fishing plastics, we're, we're able to come through and it's like bang, bang. You get a bite or two, but we can see with our sonar, I mean, there's like tons of fish here and you're just getting that one, two fish. And when we put bait on, it's bang, 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 bang. It's just one of those things. The weather is not uh, exactly great. It's the middle of summer and you can see that I'm wearing a jacket so conditions aren't ideal but when we find them we can uh, we can get a couple of the nicer fish generally and the active ones on plastic and then going back with a leech or a crawler it's lights out you know just because of the nature of our business we get our blessed in the fact that we get to fish all over north america when i look at this rig it's sort of interesting because i could apply this to a wide variety of different fishing scenarios just thinking out of the box uh, uh, Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin, when the smallmouth bass are in deeper water. Uh, Lakes uh, Sinclair, this is going to be a killer 
in a lot of goby lakes where they have a lot of gobies on, on the bottom. The other place uh, that I think this is going to be really phenomenally effective is Canadian lakes. And the why I say that is because this thing is like a mini bottom bouncer. Any walleye angler that fish bottom bouncers realize on how snag resilient you are and you can fish through really uh, radical boulders, you know, slab rock without getting hung up. So, you know what I mean? It's, it's going to be a sort of an interesting tool. You're going to see in the next couple of years, you're going to hear a lot more about this for various finesse fishing situ situations. I guarantee it. Ooh. I got me one. Got a boy. This is a really one? good search and destroy mission. We just drive over, isolate a little pot of fish. We pull up and we catch some and they sort of disperse. We're fishing on these sand flats in some cases. We've been fishing some weed beds, some rock spots, but up on the sand, these fish are moving so quickly. It's really hard to... Uh, that looks like a netter. Yeah, net I, got, I got him. Got him. I got that little rascal. I got clammy. Oh, we got a double. Oh, yeah. that's a double. I got clammy right here. I oh. like it. Come here, buddy. Come here. Oh, oh, oh. come here, buddy. Things. Whoa. Here we go. Another one. You got a nice one. Another freshie coming out of the box. <laughs> Buddy. <laughs> yeah, look, look at them. That's cool. Aren't they? Well, Boy, they're they pretty. Good on the sandwich? Oh, Jer, don't, don't even be talking about that. <laughs> there we go. ultimate fishing experience that won't break your budget, Lund delivers the new 1650 Angler. Featuring large casting platforms, plenty of storage for gear, lockable rod storage, and a spacious live well. Choose from three different layouts, including a full windshield for added protection, a side console for added space, or even the classic tiller for ultimate boat control. The affordable Lund 1650 Angler is perfect to fish those backwater honey holes and tough enough for big water. Want to learn how to catch more and bigger fish? Well, we've got the place for you. Introducing the Fish Head Video Library. Now you can enjoy hour after hour of educational videos right on your phone, tablet, laptop, desktop, or even stream videos right to your TV. Largemouth, smallmouth, walleye, catfish, musky, pike and panfish, open water or on the ice. Check out Fish Head TV to rent, buy, or become a Fish Head member today. What lies beneath can no longer hide. New Mega Imaging Plus uses high-frequency sonar to show you fish and structure up to 200 feet below your boat and 200 feet out to either side. No more secrets, no more guesswork, just a clearer picture of the world below, down to a fish's species and direction. Because more detail means more of this. Only from Humminbird. The Edge is presented by these and other fine sponsors. Might be a decent one, Jim. Stand down. Boy, that works good, just kicking the tops of those rocks. Ah, just, just nice. Listen to that drag, though. Isn't that drag just unbelievable? I feel like you're never going to lose one. Walleye. Come here, dude. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Nice. One thing I figured out, too, is fish like worms. That works good on there, a worm. You like worms? We've just caught tons and tons of these things. It's been fun, man. Cool, it's always fun learning a new technique. That's what's so great about fishing is you never stop learning. Always learning something new. You see some more? There's, I got one on there right now and got him. 
It might be a little bit better one. I got a nice one here, Jim. You need a I net. I want to grab the net. Oh, is this a sweet setup to fight a fish like this too? Yeah, Un buddy. Unbelievably light. Wow, that's a good one. Come yeah. here, buddy. Oh, that's a better one there, big boy. Yeah. Oh, oh, look at oh, that. That's a real maroon. Yeah, it was fun. There. I got to watch him on 360. I saw him swimming in front there, through to him. Wow, that's a wham. Cool one. wham, 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 wham. Hey, man, buddy. Look at that beautiful walleye. So hey, the thing is, just because you think a lure is good for one species of fish doesn't mean the fish think the same way. Try getting outside the box, experimenting, experimenting with new techniques. And I'm telling you what, this Tokyo rig is one dynamite bass bait, but it's also pretty killer for walleye. Hey, I'm here with my nephew, Dan. We've worked together pretty much his entire life. Yep. I believe he may have shot and edited more TV fishing <laughs> shows than any person alive today. That's a big statement, but it is a possibility, Dan. It is a true yep. possibility. A lot of time behind the desk, and that <laughs> kind of brings me something Al and I were talking about. And um, one thing that I do know and I'm keenly aware of, and that's time and how important it is. You know, I've got X amount of shows to do. They all got to be delivered at a certain time frame. There's X amount of commercials. They all have to be delivered at a certain date and without fail. There's no room for error. And that was something you and I were kind of talking about. And it's not a, not a pet peeve, but something I dislike a lot is waste. And that means wasting money. That means wasting food. That means wasting opportunities. And most importantly is wasting time, you know, and there's a, uh, Something to that, my wife, there's a little story, my wife is <coughs> perpetually late, and I'm sure some of you guys can, re can relate to that. <laughs> and especially, uh, you know, for when, when I'm going somewhere, but if, if I'm on my way home, you know, the kids are always screaming, and it's like, oh, one of those deals. But it gives me a chance to work on, on myself and something that I need work on, and that's patience. You know, this her being late all the time, you know, allows me to work on me, I guess. I gotta say something about when you mentioned to me uh, 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 what, what you wanted to share. Again, a lot of us guys can relate to that. I think it's a guy, a, a he, she thing. I, yeah, I really right. do. Another story, no insult, girls, but it just seems to be true. Okay, I want to read you a scripture on patience. Yeah. This is specifically for you and probably for many of you. It's in the first epistle of James, and it is. it, it, it says, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience, but let patience have its perfect work, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. Every time you run out of patience, Dan, I want <laughs> you to think myself, about right? that. <laughs> that, that. This is going to make you a better right? person. Yeah, yeah. You got it? You receive that? Yeah. Depends on how you look at <laughs> it. Hey, from all of us here at the edge, you have a good, safe fishing season. We'll see you on the water. <laughs> oh, it's a good one. And if you really like what you see, we got a whole lot more. So check us out at any one of these online outlets. You know, in fishing, there are good days and there are great days. Time is just a wink from the almighty. We plan, target, rig, and play the game like everyone else.